My name is Eric Cortina and Barnuminiums are my business. So I have found out that I am the Barnuminium guy. Uh, every time I meet somebody, uh, they go, hey, you're the Barnuminium guy. Sure, I guess I'm the Barnuminium guy. Anyway, I'm here visiting this Barnuminium. Let me give an update. Let's go check it out. As you can see, the metal building is done. And uh, as you guys know, we use the SIP wall system on the outside of here. So let me show you what we're doing here. We do hardy board on this one. Hardy board down to three feet. And then from there on down, we're gonna do uh, stone work. The uh, windows are Simonton windows. These are vinyl windows and these are white. So as you guys can tell, we're gonna do stone work from here on up, all around, under the window, up to the door, and then continue the rest of the way. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but every time we do stone work or siding, we do it under the porches. We just find that having metal everywhere else minimizes the chances for leaks. I mean, after all, it's a barnuminium. So if you wanna dress it up, dress it up under the porch, and uh, you know, that makes it look good. Don't spend too much money making your barnuminium look like a home. You are getting away from the barnuminium benefits every time you do that so uh, keep it as much metal as possible uh, again you can do hardy or board and batten or whatever under the porch dress it up there if you want but everywhere else let's just keep it a metal building if not you're losing the benefits of a barnuminium so this is outside okay and i'm gonna go ahead and take a picture right now there it is so it is 54 degrees, okay? Let's go inside. I'm not gonna cut the video. Uh, let me open the door. Okay, and now we're inside. And as you guys can tell, it's fully insulated. I'm trying to see if you can see. I'm gonna shoot a picture right there. 61 degrees. All right, so you got to see the difference that the foam makes. Obviously, we don't have it perfectly sealed. This is just a temporary door at the moment. Uh, the garage door is halfway open that I noticed, but you can still see the drastic difference that the foam makes. Uh, there's, uh, what is that, seven degrees from outside to inside. And like I said, this is not a fully finished home. If you walk in here, you can feel the, the difference. It's pretty drastic. As you can see, this one's gonna have exposed ductwork. All the inside walls are sound insulated. We do this on every one of our homes. So let me show you right quick what makes our barn medium so much more efficient than a conventional home, okay? So, conventional home, this is all you have, okay? which is three and a half inch stud, right? So you can foam, if you do, do an open cell foam, the most you can get is three and a half inches of thickness, all right? Because anything that goes beyond the three and a half inches, you have to shave off. So, um, however, you can only foam between the studs. You can't foam the stud itself because this is where the drywall goes, okay? So what ends up happening is you foam the entire house, but the, the stud itself still going to transmit heat, all right? So you still have thermal bridging happening right here, okay? So all this, and you can tell there's a lot of them, okay? Especially the way we do it. We do it every uh, 16 inches. We have our four inch wall on the outside, okay? And then we have a gap between the two walls. And as you guys can see, there is none of that four inch wall that we have on the outside that you can see, which means we are fully insulated. There is no thermal bridging happening there. So because we have our wall fully covered with foam, it already makes it a lot more efficient than a conventional home. The other thing is we don't have to shave anything that goes past the three and a half inches. See, as you can tell here, like I said, that wall is four inches, okay? But you can see here, there's a lot of spots where it just went beyond four inches, okay? This one here, I mean, the, the full wall is eight inches. And you can see we have about six inches of foam here. So uh, conventional home, the most you can have is three and a half. 
Here we have, we call for four inches, but a lot of times we get six or even more. So it's pretty easy to see why our barn aluminiums are more efficient than a conventional home. The other thing is, because our walls are eight inches thick, I've showed you how we do our headers. See, a header typically would have a two by eight or a two by 10 right on the header, okay? What we do is because we have on these walls, we have eight inches, we inset that header and then we're able to foam that area right there. So as you can see, it's foamed everywhere. This right here is blocking for cabinets, so, but it is foam behind it. So anyway, it's pretty easy to see why these barn mediums are so efficient. All right, so let me show you the shop now. You can see it's fully insulated as well, foam insulation. We have open cell on the walls and closed cell on the roof. The reason we do closed cell is because it's going to be exposed. The open cell is going to be covered up with drywall. So if it's gonna be covered up, we use open cell. If it's gonna be exposed, we use closed cell just because it looks better. We spray the open cell thicker to get the same R value. Uh, as you can see, those purlins are not covered up. The reason for that is we're gonna have plywood. Okay, so that's why we leave it uncovered so it's easy to apply or to attach the plywood. And of course, the roof is fully covered up. Those purlins are all covered up. Again, cover everything up because otherwise you have thermal bridging which is gonna make everything less efficient. So, cover it up. Uh, as you guys can see, the drywall has been delivered. And you guys know by now that everything we use is 5 8 So we use 5 8 everywhere. The door rock, that's for the bathrooms or for the uh, showers, I mean. So yep, this one's coming right along. Ceiling joists, you can see we use two by eights. We don't use any two by sixes, even if it's a short run. Um, why? Because if you ever want to deck the attic, I want it to be all the same, um, same level. Uh, if we need more than two by eights, we'll use them, but uh, I, don't, I don't use any two by sixes. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, for example, right here in this uh, laundry room, that's about a 10 foot run, two by eights. Okay, let's go in this bathroom. Well, this is a bedroom, but let's go in the bathroom. Very short run. And of course, two by eights. This is a walk-in closet that we did a three-quarter plywood in, and then we're gonna put drywall on top of it, just to make it a little bit stronger, uh, almost like a safe room. So one thing I can't show you right now, but I wish I could, is the floors. Uh, this is the one that we used the color hardener on, and they've been sealed already. So they look really, really nice, but again, I can't show you that right now. We sealed everything, including the shop or the garage. All right, so the sun's out, it's starting to warm up. It's feeling pretty good. Um, I wanna do more live streams. I thought that was pretty fun and seemed like you guys enjoyed it. So uh, I need to figure out how to let you guys know ahead of time when I'm gonna have it. Uh, that way we guys can gather around and we can have a good time. So anyway, that's all I got for this one. We'll see you next time. We are Texas Barnuminiums.